What is up guys, this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on this device. First let me show you the about section quickly, here as you can see in the Android version we have the Evolution X logo up top and as you can see the Android version is 10, the Evolution X version here it says 4.5 Radiant official build, the security patch is latest of July 5th 2020 and if I scroll down we have the Perf G kernel as the stock kernel. And here the build maintainer is of course Joe Huab and the build date is 29th July 2020. This is the latest build as of right now for the Evolution X ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro at least. Before I talk about the flashing procedure and stuff let me tell you I tried the other ROMs like the AOSPA extended ROM and with that ROM I was quite satisfied with that but there was still some bugs and I'll put a screenshot over here I replied to somebody over there on my telegram channel if you want to join there i'll put the link in the description box below and over there i said that on the aosp rom the aosp extended rom you still need to flash gapp separately and then you will still face some other bugs like the volume rocker bug is still there because of the oss vendor whenever you're using the volume rockers on a headset it won't control the volumes and stuff and there are multiple things like that which I did not quite like. I flashed the nano G apps over there so that is why I could not use the like Google Assistant and stuff just like this over here which I can. So yeah these things are important to me so that is why I switched to Evolution X and talking about flashing this ROM you can click on the card over there on the top right corner and watch the video to flash Evolution X or any other custom ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro. Just make sure you're on the latest firmware vendor which is like if you have a Redmi K20 Pro Indian device that would be Raphael in, in global 12.0.2 vendor. Now why would you switch to Evolution X ROM? Well, you may call me a fanboy of Evolution X because I have been showing you guys this particular ROM again and again on the Redmi K20 Pro. Yes, I, I still consider this as my daily driver custom ROM because it offers a lot of things which other ROMs simply does not, at least to me. The stability of this ROM is just amazingly well and the things about the customizations over here, let me show you in the Evolution X or the Evolver settings over here that you get you simply do not get this much customization and the same amount of stability in any other ROMs out there in my personal opinion. This is not like this might vary in your opinion definitely I appreciate that but this Evolution X ROM is just serving me so well that is why I keep switching to this ROM again and again. The stock camera this makes a difference because the stock camera over here is MIUI camera and as you can see the front camera and stuff everything is working fine so that is not a problem portrait mode does work over here not a problem and the switching mode over like switching to the lenses over here as you can see it is fairly quick no issues that i could find regarding the stock camera over here in most roms the stock camera is like the old google camera or the cyanogen camera that is not the case over here you get pre-installed stock miui camera over here and in the video settings of this you can get 4k 60 fps up to option of the back camera and you do have the 960 fps slow mo mode if you want to use that and in the front camera we get up to 1080p 30 fps option now i have also installed the google camera 7 over here as you can see this has been working fine too i definitely took some pictures as you can see they look really amazing even if i zoom in you will see the quality is not bad at all as you are noticing over here even google camera 7 is working fine if you want to install this google camera on your device you can click on the card right over there and use the settings just like me and as you can see night sight and stuff is of course there so you can change the settings if you want to shoot some astrophotography and stuff you can choose that from here so yeah this google camera has been working totally great you should not worry about it and as usual the stock launcher is still pixel launcher we still have the google's discover page to the left swiping up gets you to the app drawer swiping down gets you to the notification panel and here the widgets and stuff are working fine uh, although no like double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen that is not simply there and in the settings as you can see you can disable the suggestions over here not much customizations that you get for this launcher but yes i'm happy about it that it is stable enough it does not give me any black screen or something and here in the quick toggles over here let me show you i've added some toggles but you can also add multiple quick toggles over here plethora of options that you get by default we do have this screen recorder this is the oxygen West kind of screen recorder and if i go into the settings you can change the resolution you can change the bit rate and also you can change the number of frames over here so you get control over everything and audio source you can change that too to internal or the microphone audio 
and of course we still get the fps counter so you can like enable it and play any game and you can see in real time how much fps you are getting just like this so that really makes a difference and if you want to see gaming performance of evolution x rom click on the card right there now let me quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed from the like always on display unlocked now let's try from the left thumb always on display unlocked now let's try from the lock screen itself unlocked now let's try from the lock screen with the left thumb and unlocked now i'll try with night light as you can see the display is going yellowish so right now i'll just double tap and right now as you can see unlocked now let's try with the left thumb again unlocked and i'll try now from the lock screen night light turned on with the right hand thumb unlocked now with the left hand thumb with lock screen and night light turned on unlocked again the fingerprint scanner is 100% reliable over here i did not face any issues with the fingerprint scanner on this rom at least but yes it is not the fastest but it is very very reliable over here we do have wi-fi calling feature over here let me show you the stock dialer this is how the stock in call ui looks like and as you can see wi-fi calling is working totally fine and vaulty calling does work super fine over here too but there is no like call recording option at least by default but there is video calling option if you want that the drm info shows as level 1 here by default so it should work with the netflix and amazon prime in 1080p and it still passes the safety net test so that means you can use banking apps like google pay right out of the box you will not even need magic hide or something like that now let's jump into the battery settings and here is how it looks like one thing that i like it is not there in most roms and as you can see if you scroll down on the battery settings you will see this battery temperature then there is the charging cycle this is really cool that it shows the charging cycle i have completed 246 cycles it says and the current battery capacity and the design battery capacity it shows everything over here these kind of details these small details it's not even there in MIUI so i like this thing that like you can see all those things over here maybe it's there in MIUI 12 i'm not really sure i'm not into MIUI 12 so much and here as you can see we have the screen on time of course the screen on time is decent the battery life is decent it's not like super good like avsp extended or something but it does not give you some problems like those mic volumes and stuff while video calling and something this rom is almost like stable in every way and the battery life is good enough too you can get up to seven plus hours of screen on time easily you will not be having any problems 18 watt fast charging does work fine over here so that is not an issue and here if i tap as you can see you can see the full usage from here i have about 68 percent juice left and i have got about three hours of screen on time so you can calculate with that three hours and 70 percent almost if you like cross it so yeah you can definitely get eight plus or seven plus hours of screen on time easily even with heavy usage in my opinion and also there is this thermal profiles and stuff for each app then battery saver is there adaptive charging is there and smart charging is there too if you want to limit the battery's charging or something you can use that from here in the display settings we have the lock screen display and as you can see we have the always on display over here and it does work super fine the dark theme is there you can schedule that night light is also there live display is there so color calibration mode is there rgb control you can do that and then we have the hue saturation intensity and contrast control then if you scroll down we have the styles and wallpapers and from here you can customize the theme and inside clock we have multiple lock screen clocks as you can see so a lot of customizations inside wallpapers we do have this come live section so here you get multiple like live wallpapers you have to download these i guess and as you can see it shows download so yeah let me go back and if i scroll down we have this living universe too you can also download these live wallpapers from here so here we have the pride option and let me go back we have the textures landscapes etc kind of like live wallpapers and there is also this papers app which has these kind of wallpapers of evolution x and they look really really beautiful as you can see you can choose from these many options there are plethora of like evolution x based wallpapers and they look really really amazing in my opinion you can set any wallpaper from this app it will still look cool on the amulet display with the blacks and stuff looks really beautiful in my opinion we have the double tap to wake actually works fine not a problem anti flicker or dc dimming mode is there so that is not a problem either and also i forgot to mention this screen timeout is there and also this lock screen timeout is there so if you wanna see the lock screen for let's guess five minutes 
if you wanna just put the phone into lock screen and see the time or something for some reason you can set that timer over here and it will stay on the lock screen for that much time so that is really cool and here in the sound settings let me scroll down we have the me audio dirac and here i have been using with this eu3 edition the sound of the headphone jack and bluetooth is just amazing no complaints there and hi-fi audio mode is there too let me go back where the screenshot touch sound etc disabling option and charging sound charging vibration etc disabling option too and ring volume alarm volume etc you can like choose that from here if you want to enable them and as you can see this is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this and let me scroll up we have the haptic feedback or vibrations and in call vibration you can turn it on touch vibration is there and then there is the ringtone vibration pattern you can choose them from here inside security this is how it looks like and of course we do have the face unlock but there is no app lock if you are coming from usb extended or something that thing is simply not not there i have seen that in like that usb extended rom only that the app lock is there by default but here you do not get the app lock let me set up the face unlock and show you the speed So the face unlock setting up is done right now if I double tap over here to lock and double tap to wake and right now if I have to swipe up I guess and as you can see so yeah I have to swipe up as you can see on the lock screen I have to double tap and I have to swipe up on the lock screen then only it will pop out the front camera and then it will unlock and you cannot disable that feature like where you do not have to swipe up on the lock screen that thing is simply not there here and in the evolution x settings of course you will find all the customizations first we have the about section you can donate to the developers from here let me go back we have the themes and i'll just cover this really quickly accent color thing is there and we get plethora of accent colors preset and we have the like multiple accent color picker option you can choose anything from here and headline and body fonts are there of course as you can see and icon shape status bar icons are there and then we have the quick setting toggle styles and you can choose anything from here header image you can customize that panel opacity is there header color you can choose from here blur the like background blur behind the quick setting panel is there inside status bar we have the clock customization and battery bar carrier level network traffic rounded corners everything is there you can have some padding if you want to status bar items is there so headset bluetooth etc icons you can enable or disable that privacy indicators is there status bar logo is there you can have it if you want to let me go back we have the battery percentage and the big circle is there so as you can see i have been using the big circle with uh, like percentage inside the big circle so yeah that is working fine over here that is not a problem and you can choose the battery percentage position to next or inside the icon and we have the battery percentage when charging and stuff and while charging it shows uh, like pixel kind of animation and as you can see we have the vaulty icon and you can choose the vaulty icon to show up like these many options are there and over here we have the notifications heads up disabling option is there pulse on always on display is there you can have some colors set up over here and battery charging light is there you can have it even in do not disturb mode and the notification LED on the pop-up camera does work while charging and stuff notification vibration is there blink for incoming call is there blink for call waiting is there let me go back we have the quick settings here we have the quick pull down smart pull down etc hide battery icon battery percentage in the quick setting panel column and row number customization is there settings icon and stuff is there let me go back to the power menu and advanced restart option is of course there so you do have this if i click on advanced as you can see you can regularly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here let me go back we have the gestures and here we have the usb gestures and gesture navigation you can customize it from here and as you can see i have the gesture bar size set to long so that is why this spill bar shows really long let me go back we have the swipe right screenshot and there you can set the screenshot type from here at least to take full screenshot and extend it so that means as you can see this is how the long screenshot edit or share or delete option appears and this brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar and stuff these kind of features really does make a difference and quick torch option is there so if you hold the power button while the device is locked it will toggle the torch and then we have the shutter bar and lock screen double tap to sleep and let me go back to the lock screen here we have the fingerprint authentication and stuff fingerprint icon is there so you can choose from these many icons which you will not find in most custom roms and fingerprint animation is there and then we have the fingerprint animation changing option to these many options as you can see plethora of fingerprint scanner animations are there so whenever you are unlocking it really looks beautiful you can choose from any of these and it looks really beautiful works amazingly well i will recommend you to choose this to vivo cyan shadow because this one i feel like works a little bit better than the others 
the other options may give you a really bad experience or something so do make sure to set this fingerprint pressed icon effect to this vivo shine shadow at least it's working great with this option for me at least and charging info and stuff does appear on the lock screen looks great and here we have the clock widget and stuff if you want to customize the clock widget on the lock screen you can do that from here as you can see you can have some accent hours or accent minutes and you can also increase the font size and stuff you can do those owner info you can have that charging animation is there media cover art etc is there let me go back to the navigation here we have the enabling pulse of the like navigation panel and home screen long press and stuff is there if you are using two or three button navigation of course we have the animation section and here the screen of animation is there so you can set it to crt or scale so it looks like those kind of let me show you the crt mode as you can see this is how it looks like let me unlock and here the scrolling cache and stuff is there let me scroll down we have the whole ui animation actually in the misc settings we have the smart pixel mode gaming mode wake up on charge you can disable it if you want to charging animation is there then the ambient display brightness you can adjust that from here usb configuration option is there so you can set it to file transfer so that whenever you connect the phone to pc it will like work automatically like it will go to the file manager on the pc then we have the allow signature spoofing and stuff and time in state those settings etc options are there in the system settings we do have this system updater so you can check for updates from here you can also update it from here update the rom from here but if your storage is decrypted i will recommend you not to do that flash manually just flash the latest build whenever there is an update and flash fcrypt disabler as you did previously and just reboot you do not need to wipe anything and in the front camera sounds there is the camera led and the front camera sounds disabling option you can also use these kind of sounds if you want to and the default keyboard over here is gboard so that is good you will not have any issues with privacy i guess the ram management is great the gaming performance and stuff should be great in this rom i have no complaints about that and i am not really showing you because the video will just go longer but i would say the ram management the performance over here of this rom is not bad at all here is the android and geekbench score of this rom thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now